Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Crow. Today I'm going to be reading you a story that is one of my grandchildren's favorites. In fact, I read it to them so often, pretty soon they could read it to me. Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Senda. The knight Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. And he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max. And he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and they gnashed their terrible teeth and they rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still. And then he tamed them with the magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and they called him the most wild thing of all and made him the king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. And they rumpused. And they rumpused some more. Have you ever rumpused like this? Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around the world from far away, he smelled good things to eat, so he gave up being king of the where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. Then the wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him and it was still hot. Now if you decide to have the wild rumpus begin today. Make sure you go outside.